All right, today we're doing an oil change on the boat. This is the Mastercraft 2008 X2. It's got this MCX 350 Vortex, so it's just a GM 5.7 liter V8 engine. So we're going to do the oil change. Uh, it's warm. I just had the boat outside. I started it up out of water. If you're curious on how to do that, check out my previous video. But this is going to be a video on how to change the oil in your inboard boat. This is a Mastercraft uh, motor. So the key to this is this little part here. So see this little barb fitting? This is a quarter inch barb fitting. It fits onto the end of the hose. I'm going to show you here. So grab you one of these. You can get these at Home Depot for just like, like two bucks or something. So grab you one of those. Now if you look down here in the motor, a lot of times you're looking for this hose here. A lot of times this is just clipped onto the engine block. It's, you know, it's, it might be laying down in your bilge. But this is the hose. This connects to the bottom of the oil pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to snake this out the back of the rear drain plug. And then we're going to put that barb fitting on this right here. This just unscrews. We'll put the barb fitting on this. We'll hook up our oil extractor to it and we'll suck the oil right out of it. So it makes it really clean, simple, easy way to do an oil change. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this clip off. That way this will fit through the drain plug out the back. All right, I just took the clip off. If you see here, it's got no clip on. That way, this can fit through the rear drain plug. This kind of snakes down there. It kind of, this is the hose right there. I'm going to take off this sidewall panel. That's going to allow me to reach my hand down there and get it out the back. So I'm going to take off that panel, and then I'm going to take off the rear drain plug. That way, I can get it out. This is the exhaust tips. This is the wake, the, the plate. Anyways, this is the rear drain plug. So what you want to do is get that loose. Okay, unscrew it. While you have that off, inspect your O-ring. Make sure the O-ring's good. There's an O-ring on that. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna snake that drain hose through here out the back, so that way it's down at a lower point than the drain pan. Okay, after you get the side panel off, you go down there. You reach the reach your hand on there. Snake the the hose out the back. The easiest way I found to get it through the drain plug was if you reach down here from the top so see how the there's a tube going through the drain hole at the back that's reaching up from this area here so just in front of the air filter reaching down there to do it is the easiest way so I got that out the back I just took off the oil fill cap and the crankcase so that way I'm gonna use an oil extractor and that's going to allow the oil to flow a little easier out the out this drain tube. I was checking too. Also, that that tube that we just put out the back, it's connected to the bottom of the drain 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 pan, so it's or the oil pan, so it's going to drain pretty much all the oil out of this. Okay, we're back here at the back of the boat. We have this oil hose out the back here. We're just going to pull it through until it's tight. We want to get all the slack out of it we want to make sure that we got like just kind of a, a straight line out the back so this is hanging here now we're going to set up our hose barb adapter and start sucking this out is the oil. my oil extractor it's just called the top cider it's like a metal uh, canister it's got a vacuum pump it's got some hose coming off it so what i'm going to do here is i have my hose barb hooked up to just a piece of plastic tubing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my oil extractor. Just that fits right inside of there. So that way I'm going to hook this up, hook this up, and then I'm going to screw on the hose barb to the end of our oil hose. Okay, I've made the connection. So I've got my hose barb screwed on, tubing around the hose barb. Tubing, now the, the top cider vacuum extractor is hooked into the other side of the tubing. So now I'm just going to pump up the extractor, give it some pumps, and create a vacuum and start sucking it out. Okay, we got everything hooked up. Now we're just going to give it a few pumps. Now we're just going to release the clip. You 
see we've got a flow of oil. You see we have a flow of oil here coming through. It comes in right there. So this is going to take, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. We'll make sure we get all the oil out of it. But the nice thing with this is all the oil is contained here. This is easy to dump from. Makes it uh, pretty messless. Okay, while we're waiting for the oil to get extracted, we can start working on the oil filter. We're going to use Mobile One M1302A. That's the oil filter. It's compatible with the other sizes that it uses. This was the hose barb that I got. It's quarter inch diameter. This you can get at Home Depot, like I said, for just a few bucks. Okay, the oil we're going to use, it takes six quarts. I only have five here. I have another quart uh, on the shelf. but So it, it calls for a 15W40. That's like a what you commonly see like in a diesel or heavy-duty engine. That's what Inmar requires for this engine, so we, we use what they require. This is just a... Uh, Rotella, show you can get this like at Walmart, your auto parts store, pretty cheaply. I mean, this was uh, for six quarts of oil. You're probably looking at like twenty bucks for this type of oil. Um, so we're going to start working on the oil filter and show you where that's located and how to get that off. Okay, we're here in the back of the boat in the rear compartment here. So here's our hinge compartment here, side storage. You want to take this panel off right here. And then come down in, and that'll get us to the okay, oil filters just down here. Right there. It's oil filter, so it's not it's not that far in, it's just right there. It's pretty accessible. We just need to get a little wrench on it to crack it open. One tip I have is if you use some paper towels, I even get like a little grocery, like an old grocery bag. I put this like underneath the filter, put the towels underneath there. That way any oil that drips down is going to get absorbed by that and not get all over the bilge. So, help to not make a mess. This is the oil filter wrench I'm using. It's a Craftsman. For reference, part number 20523. But it's an adjustable one. So these arms, you know, these arms spread out. And then once you start tightening or loosening, these like kind of clamp down on the filter. So it makes it a little easier to, it's more of a universal size. So you can, but when you have a built, bigger filter like we're using on this one, uh, with limited clearance on the back side of it, this is help, This type of filter or wrench is helpful. Just to loosen it. And then when we're tightening it on, we just tighten it that last little bit. So we'll, we'll use that, we'll crack it uh, loose and then hand spin it okay, off. we got the old filter off, got that uh, drained and disposed of. Now we're just going to pre-fill the new filter. This is just going to put a little bit of oil in this. That way it's... Then what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the oil, put it around this gasket here so that way it makes it easier. It seats, seats well. Okay, we're going to get this up under the engine and get it on. One screwed back on. We're all done below here. We just need to uh, cap off the oil hose and refill it. Alright, now we're just going to get the hose barb. We're going to take that off. Okay, we're just going to take the... That, that was just hand tight. Screw that off. Put the cap back on. Tight. Okay, now I'm just going to go up and I'm going to pull the hose back up the same way and clip it back on the engine block just like it was before. There is some oil still left in this. Here, I'm just going to elevate this, let this drain into the pan, then I'm going to recycle this oil and then we'll refill it back up with new oil. All right, we got the funnel in. We're just going to refill with oil. Remember, this is six quarts, so we're going to start with the four quart jug here.
All right, so four quarts in. We'll use these jugs to put the old oil in. in and then we did a half a quart we and not half a quart we probably did fourth of a quart this was some extra oil this is not mobile one this is uh, 5w40 from a previous larger gallon jug that I had left over so this is the same weight so we're just going to finish off with this we put part of this in the oil filter we're putting the rest in here so it's probably just under six quarts in Assuming we left a tiny bit of mountain the motor, so what we'll do is wait a little bit. We'll check the oil on the dipstick, uh, but we really want to check it. So next time, either we're out on the lake or I start it up in the driveway again, let the oil circulate. Then we can check the level, and then we can slowly add if we if we need to if we're a little low. Okay, we got the hose, the oil hose brought back up from underneath. Pulled it out through the drain plug. Now I'm just, I got to put the clip back on. Now we're just gonna clip it onto the, or just kind of a motor mount here, or a part the hooks onto the block. So just leave it hanging right there. Leave it hanging right there, out of the way. It's there for you next time to do the oil change. Now all we gotta do is we just gotta put the drain plug back in the back. Put these side panels on, dispose of the old oil, and we're good to go. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if it was, like, subscribe the video. Appreciate it. Thanks.